In a world where one of the best video game adaptations is the Sonic movie. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! One man and his huge industrial complex will try to do the impossible. Make modern fanboys happy. Now, it's no secret that video game, film, and TV adaptations have been, well... <laughs> so when I heard that Amazon was making a Fallout series, I was skeptical to say the least. Amazon, of course, being the masterminds who somehow found a way to make Lord of the Rings... <laughs> But when the trailer dropped, I was surprised because it actually looked pretty all right, especially compared to the other video game adaptations coming out. Ugh, brother, ugh, what's that? So I zipped up my jumpsuit, powered up the old pit boy and watched Fallout. And I was pleasantly surprised. The best way I can describe the Fallout series is it's just fun. From the characters, to the set and prop designs, the dark satirical humor, the visceral gore, and the overall mystery, it never stops being fun. Now, it does have some narrative issues and some world-building problems, mostly due to what I assume is the lack of a budget. Which, come on Amazon, I know you have the money. Daddy Bezos? So that being said, for my hoity-toity critic score, I'd give Fallout a solid 7, almost an 8. And for my schmo score, my rating for the average Joe, I give it a 9 out of 10. Now, this is the part where I explain my ratings and have to get a little bit into spoiler territory, so if you want to watch the show for yourself, which I highly recommend, this is where we part ways. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate you, and I hope you have a good day. The show's biggest strength is definitely its characters. They are all compelling, well-rounded, fully fleshed out with clear motivations. Regardless of if you like the characters or their choices, you can't help but empathize with them because you understand where they're coming from and why they're doing what they're doing. And the acting, I mean, come on, Walter Goggins as a badass cowboy? Please take more of my money. He's a treasure. Moise Aries, which I haven't seen since his Disney Channel days, did a great job playing the disillusioned yet cowardly vault dweller who is pushed to discover the secrets of the vault not out of curiosity but out of fear and self-preservation. Aaron Moten, who plays an empathetic orphan of war, raised in a brutal world who wants to do the right thing but is led down darker paths to achieve his goal. And of course, the true standout, Ella Purnell, the plucky, naively optimistic vault dweller who has to grow and adapt as she runs into the horrors of the surface world. All the main characters are well written and well executed. Earlier I mentioned the sets and the props, which are both good and not so good. In small spaces like the vaults or inside any building, the sets are great. Super detailed, super realistic, they feel like they're lived in. However, in the bigger world, it starts to lose it a little bit because whenever they are outside, they're always in either a seemingly endless desert or just happen to be in a place that's enclosed by some, you know, bizarrely lush green trees or some tall shrubbery that's definitely, definitely not hiding a modern city behind it. <laughs> Again, I believe this is clearly a budget thing and they're just, you know, doing the best that they can with what they have. However, it does cause a problem with how time works in the narrative when you have all these huge sweeping wasteland shots. For instance, our main characters can be pursuing someone at the end of one episode and then get completely sidetracked by some shenanigans for a whole episode, but still somehow catch up to the guy from the previous episode magically. So there's a bit of a problem with scale and scope and how 
close relatively everything is to each other when it comes to the lack of being able to bring to life the wasteland. Which brings us to the other narrative problems. Now, Fallout is your basic MacGuffin story where there's a thing and everybody wants the thing and then chaos and story ensues. Although having the MacGuffin be some dude's head is pretty funny. I enjoyed that. And for the most part, it works. Having a MacGuffin is not necessarily a bad thing and it works here mostly because of the good character writing. Although it still has the MacGuffin problems of the astronomical coincidence that everyone important just happens to be in LA County and that all the vaults just happen to be opening at the same time. Other than that, there are some other things from episode to episode that just don't make any sense. Unless of course you're just trying to hurry along the story and get through it. Like, why would you taunt and threaten someone with death before they gave you the life-saving serum that you needed, especially in this world? Or why would you give up the code when you have absolutely no reason to? And why can't my guy get one kill? Come on, let him finger mouth at least one person to death. I feel bad for him. <laughs> Joking aside, that's why I gave Fallout a seven because it has a bit of editing and continuity issues sprinkled throughout the whole of the show, as well as of course the budget issues, which if you're gonna tackle such an ambitious story or narrative, you should probably make sure you got the budget to back it up. All in all, I think it was a pretty good adaptation. Even if you're not well versed in the Fallout lore, and yes, I am aware that the show takes liberties when it comes to the lore. But I believe the showrunners gave the audience enough info to one, keep them engaged, and two, to keep the story functional. And I think the show is really gonna get a lot of new people interested in the Fallout world. At the very least, come October, I bet the jumpsuits and the Pit Boys are gonna be a popular Halloween costume because of this show. And if you need any more convincing to give this show a shot, I had originally planned to watch this series over a span of a week, but I ended up binge watching the entire show in one day. So there you go. If you're looking for a fun time with compelling characters and a rich, colorful world, I highly recommend Fallout.